Okay, so in the last video, we were working out the mean. So in this video, we're going to be working out the standard deviation. So I've taken the question and I've edited it a little bit so that it gives me what I want. And I'm going to start much the same as I did in the last video. So the first thing that I think I should do is I think I should draw myself a picture. Because I always find it easier to work out what's going on if I have a picture to refer to. So that's my terrible normal distribution. I'm going to do my mean in the middle. That's about in the middle. So that's 59.6 grams. I'm told the largest 15%. So the largest 15% will be over here. And they weigh more than 60.5 grams. So I'm expecting a fairly small standard deviation here. So much the same as last time, when I go to normal and I go to distribution and I go to inverse normal, my distribution is on the right. My area is 0.15. Once again, I've got the mean, but I don't have the standard deviation. So I have to use the standard normal. And the standard normal has mean of zero and standard deviation of one. So therefore, in here, I'm going to turn in mean of zero and standard deviation of one. And what I calculate there is not a value on my scale. It is a Z value. So I'm going to write Z equals 1.0364 1 1.0364 again I'm using more decimal places than I need to make sure that I get my answer at the end so much the same as the last time I did this video if I go to my Normal distribution, my stats tables at the top there, it's got my formula for converting from my value to my standard normal. So my standard normal value, I've got my Z, I've got my X, I've got my mean, the only thing I don't have is my standard deviation, therefore I can work that out. Just close the wrong window. So now at this point, I'm gonna say Z, equals x minus mu divided by standard deviation and at that point i can go right i know my mean is 59.6 i know my x is 60.5 i know my z is 1.0364 so therefore the only thing that i don't know is my standard deviation so i've now got an equation that looks like one point zero three six four equals sixty point five minus fifty nine point six divided by the standard deviation i don't know and again i could rearrange that that's a really easy rearrangement i multiply both sides by sigma I divide both sides by 1.0364, and that's going to give me my answer. Again, though, I know some of you aren't so strong at the algebra side by doing stats, so therefore we're going to go to the equation editor, we're going to go to solver, I'm going to delete that because I'm starting afresh, and I'm going to type in that my equation is 1.0364, oops, not 10, Point. That will give me quite a different answer. Shift decimal place, open the bracket, 60.5 minus 59.6. Divided by now, of course, I can't put a sigma in, so I use an X. It comes up with an answer, but it's not the right answer until I click solve. 
and it's telling me that my standard deviation is 0 0.6, sorry, 868. So sigma is 0 0.868 grams or 0 0.87 grams, because let's be honest, I don't know how good you are weighing, but I doubt I could weigh to 0 0.6868 of a gram. Uh, and there you go. That's the end of this video. So we've done working back to find the mean. We've done working back to find the standard deviation. So we've got one more video to do on that, which is when we have to solve working back to find the mean and standard deviation. Uh, and that will involve us having to solve simultaneously. So until next time.